First up, we need a pack. Knife and shears for cleaning game. Headlamp just in case. GoPro with barrel mount. Random accessories. Microphone system for recording on my phone. Anchor power bank. Necessary cords. Plenty of shells. Couple slugs. Water. Snacks. Lastly, can't forget this one. Emergency Swiss rolls. And let's pack it up. Now for the clothes. Let's fill our bag. It's gonna be about freezing. We're gonna start off with some base layers. We got a shirt, long johns, two pair of socks. Next is my favorite on a cold day. We got jeans with belt. These johns are flannel lined. Ooh. Let me try that again. Fluorescent orange Under Armour hoodie. Probably about the warmest hoodie I own. Next, I'll probably throw on this rugged wool blend flannel. Orange vest on the outside for safety. Ball cap. Gloves. Beanie. Neck gaiter. With two pairs of socks and these bad boys, you can guarantee them, my feet are not going to get cold. Last but not least, you already know we're going to be wearing this. Riley here at Saddle Up Outdoors, and it is Friday, February 24th, 2023. It's currently 5.04 a.m., and we're headed out to a property that I lease hunt on out in Huntington, PA. We are looking for sheds. Small game is in as well, so we're taking shotgun along for that, or uh, we see coyote. So we got about an hour and 15-minute drive ahead of us. We're going to try and catch the sunrise out there. Stay tuned and saddle up because you're watching Saddle Up Outdoors. Looks like we made it just in time for the sunrise, so here's the time lapse of that. Alright, it's cold. Let's get dressed. So right now we're coming up on the area where I found last week my first ever shed. Last week was super exciting for me. Um, here in this clearing that I'm walking through again right now is where I found my first ever shed. Um, it's only like five inches, I wanna say. It's just, it's a small spike antler but it's my first shed ever. And it's super exciting to me because I've only shot two doe in my time hunting. Um, and I've been hunting since I was 10. So to find something like that and to have a 
an actual antler in the house, it, it's a cool accomplishment for me. Out of all of the land that I've walked on here at the lease, I think that this has got to be my favorite spot. It's just a neat little hidden pond up here um, in the mountain, so it's, it, I think it's pretty cool. It's like a small little getaway. That's going to be a lot of frogs. I'm kind of just posted up right now, staying here, but I have a snack and just want to put you guys on real quick. S'mores Pop-Tarts, there's not a better flavor. Hey, those are pretty good. Now, I do got to say a quick little PSA. Make sure you're bringing out with you everything that you bring in. I grew up a Boy Scout. I'm an Eagle Scout. We studied Leave No Trace, outdoor conservation. We did lots of projects in, in God's country here and all I gotta say is leave nothing but a footprint. My current update on things I've seen, so far I've seen plenty birds, uh, mostly woodpeckers and those things are massive. I've seen two deer um, and there's one, one open clearing area that I walked through looking for sheds and uh, I saw more deer poop there um, than I, probably in my entire life combined. Uh, that's definitely a place to look at in the future. I think this is gonna be a good place to end it. Um, I had a great time today. I've been looking forward to it all week, getting back out in the woods. Um, not getting a whole lot of free time to come out here and any time I can spend out in mother nature, it's a good day. Um, as you saw last week, I found a cool little five inch spike shed. Um, and I also, I also found a, a really cool hornet nest that I cut out of a bush because I mean, it's cold, they're dead, they're not there. Uh, cool little keepsake for me, I'm gonna keep it in my gun cabinet. Um, other than that, just remember some some good pointers whenever you're when you're out in nature is um, no matter the time of year watch yourself uh, for ticks um, I got two crawling on my jeans right now so just just be aware of, of nature and just remember to uh, get out there be safe have fun Hunt wise and saddle up because you're watching Saddle Up Outdoors.